Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome, welcome. As the spooky season is fast approaching, I thought we'd take a deep dive into how Halloween is celebrated in the Sims franchise, from trick-or-treating to ghostly encounters. Halloween is crept into many corners of the Sims universe. So grab your sweets, grab your pumpkin carving tools, and let's explore Halloween in the Sims. Halloween themed content in the original Sims didn't really appear until we got Making Magic, which was an expansion pack released in 2003. Now, while it wasn't Halloween per se, and there isn't any pumpkin carving or trick or treating, we were introduced to Magic Town. Here we could explore lots that were designed with a spooky and fantastical theme, including areas with a dark forest, magic vendors, and supernatural ah, creatures. Yeah. These environments made it feel like the perfect Halloween destination. The Making Magic Pack also had numerous spooky and gothic items, including furniture, cobwebs, candles, cauldrons, and tombstones. These decorative items help create a haunted house atmosphere, perfect for setting up Halloween-like parties or events in your Sims homes. I mean, we all know about this horrific item, right? While The Sims 1 didn't have an official Halloween holiday, the Making Magic expansion pack gave players all the tools they needed to create a spooky Halloween-inspired gameplay experience. With magic, supernatural creatures, eerie decorations and spell casting, players could easily replicate the spirit of Halloween in their game, turning their Sims lives into a magical, haunted adventure. And this really set the stage for later Halloween themed updates across the series. In The Sims 2, Halloween wasn't an official holiday. Still, the game provided a wide range of features, interactions and expansion packs, making it easy for us to recreate a Halloween atmosphere. With its unbeatable attention to detail and customization options, players could host Halloween inspired parties Dress up Sims in costumes and decorate homes with a couple of Halloween decorations. The Sims 2 didn't have a specific costume party mechanic. It did offer many outfits that could work as costumes. Your child Sims could play dress up, princess dresses, pirate outfits, or even be a superhero. There were also several quirky outfits for adult Sims like spacesuits, a medieval garb, a pink monkey costume, or even more stylish options like the gothic inspired clothing. But while The Sims 2 didn't have a specific Halloween event like later games would have, players could do what they do best and create their own stories by throwing custom house parties and adding a Halloween theme through decorations, costumes, and themed interactions, like gathering all your Sims around the campfire to hear a really scary story. The Sims 3 does what The Sims 3 does best with Halloween and takes it further than ever. With the season's expansion, Sims can experience different weather, holidays, and seasonal events, including a spooky day during the autumn season. Spooky day is the Sims 3 equivalent of Halloween and comes with many festive activities that resemble the real world celebration. Your Sims can throw a spooky day costume party where they and their guests and loved ones will dress up in various fun and spooky costumes. Costume choices are completely randomized and Sims may appear as astronauts, hot dogs, cheerleaders, or fairy tale creatures. The costume parties also include festive food, decorations, and just general socializing. You can take your child and teen sims to go trick-or-treating around the neighborhood, and they'll knock on doors, they'll either receive candy, or a prank reaction from the household, just like in real life Halloween. Sims will dress in costumes while trick-or-treating, adding to that festive spirit. But be careful you don't get caught with the trick. <laughs> Your sims can buy pumpkins at the general store or harvest them from their own garden and you can carve them into jack-o'-lanterns and these can be placed as decorations around the house. However, please don't stomp them out or you might find your cold autumn evening just heats up a little bit. Autumn also brings the fall festival, which includes a haunted house that your sims can visit. And when they enter the house, they experience a quick spooky animation and get moodlets reflecting whether they were scared or not. At the festival, sims can also take part in pie eating contests. <laughs> Bob Rappels. And enjoy other autumnal themed activities. Players can also decorate their Sims house for Spooky Day by placing the jack-o'-lanterns, 
spooky decorations and eerie lighting to set the mood. With a combination of the spooky deer and the autumnal activities, I think The Sims 3 creates a really good sense and spirit that really does capture Halloween. In The Sims 4, Halloween can be celebrated through a combination of different packs and features. Though it doesn't have an official Halloween event, instead we can use The Sims 4 Seasons expansion and the Spooky Stuff Pack to create Halloween inspired celebrations and activities. Using Seasons, you can create a holiday that mimics Halloween and tailor it to your liking. You can set the date, give it a spooky name and choose traditions that align with the Halloween spirit. You can use spooky or autumnal themed decorations or dress your sims up in various costumes to really get into it. Now, unfortunately, you can't actually go trick-or-treating yourself, but you can welcome local neighborhood children into your house to do some trick-or-treating, and it's up to you how you respond. Or you can add a spot of mystery to the day and have your sims participate in pranks, playing tricks on each other, which I'm sure won't bother anybody at all. But it's the spooky stuff pack that really gets us into the Halloween spirit. With this pack, you can host spooky parties, a special event that mirrors Halloween parties, really. Guests are required to come in costume, and you can decorate your house with decorations like spider webs, tombstones, and creepy lighting. Your attendees will arrive with costumes that include a range of themed outfits such as witches, skeletons, pirates and more. You can also place a candy bowl which might give out a treat or you might be unlucky enough to get a treat. This pack introduces a pumpkin carving station also where your sims can carve pumpkins into different shapes and styles from traditional jack-o'-lanterns to goofy or scary designs. You can then light the pumpkins to be used as decorations, but you also have access to a number of objects and other decorations that help really set that Halloween mood. We also get treated to a couple of new recipes, like a zombie cake, an eyeball cheese plate, perfect for any creepy party spread. The Sims 4 does offer a really complete view of Halloween, because you can combine elements from multiple packs to create a rich Halloween experience in The Sims 4. By hosting spooky parties, carving pumpkins, and setting custom traditions like trick-or-treating, you can turn an in-game day into a full-blown Halloween celebration. Add your vampires, your spellcasters, and a haunted house for extra spooky fun. But The Sims 4 really does allow players to recreate the holiday however we wish. From the magical beginnings in The Sims Making Magic to the costume-filled parties in The Sims 4, Halloween has been a special time in The Sims franchise. For this one, I try to focus on Halloween itself rather than the ghouls and the ghosts as I feel they need a video all to themselves. How do you celebrate Halloween in your game? Please do let me know in the comments because I am really interested. And as always, guys, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching my video. I really, really appreciate it. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. But that's it from me, Grim and Bonehilda. We hope you have a spooky Halloween and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.